Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Thought I'd bring you inside the greenhouse today, kind of show you what I'm working with, give you a quick tour, um, and uh, maybe explain some of the items that I use here in the greenhouse. And I got a good homestead hack for you if you stay to the end of the video. All right, let's start with the Blink camera up here. Um, it has a temperature gauge in it, and so I use that to to monitor the temperature in here. It'll also let me know. It sends an alert to my phone. Um, if once the temperature gets over a certain degree or below a certain degree, um, comes in really, really, really handy. I, I happen to have an extra one laying around, so I just went on ahead and stuck it in here, and it works great. I love it. All right, now over here on this section is where I keep my Pro Mix, my Perlite, my TSC cup to sprinkle my Perlite, my little scoop there, those wands. Uh, that's all that goes in that corner right there. Keeps it, you know, right there where I need it at. And then I got trays up there. And then once I uh, have planted in the trays, I slide them down here. I do... I do all my my seeding right here because the seed starting mix drops down through this grate right here and um, it drops into there. So I do my seeding there. So I, I just left this one here. Once I need to seed something else, I just slide this over and then bring me another seed tray over here. Um, and then these right here I did the other day. They're looking good. Got some Brussels sprouts back there. Some broccoli. Got some more broccoli up here. And we got some lettuce over here. So everything's looking really, really good. Um, I also have this shelf that I built down here. This is mostly for the springtime. Because in the spring, I'll have this whole top full, the whole bottom full, and the whole top and bottom over here full. So, um... So I need that I needed that extra space, which is you know why that shelf got put there. It is retractable, so I could I could push it up, but I need to get some clips to to hold it up there. If it's not, it'll it's that this uh, this little I don't know what you would call it, but it's not meant to stay in the up position. It's meant for a desk, like a those desk the standing desks. Um, so it's not meant, it's meant to stay out. It's not meant to pull any weight back, but, um, it did the, it did what it needed to do for me. And at some time I'll put some latches on it so it'll stay up, but it doesn't bother me being down. All right. Over here in this corner are all of my, my different size, uh, containers and my twine down there on the end. Um, I just, you know, like them all right here. So whenever I need one of those containers, I know exactly where it is. And I got my heater over here for winter time. I mean, I'm down here in Georgia, so it's not horrible, horrible. But I need to keep it above freezing sometimes. And, um, you know, when I'm starting, mostly when I'm starting seeds in the spring is when I'm going to need that. And so... I will uh, plug that in, and it generally keeps it about 40, 45 in here most nights, so that's perfect for me. I don't really need much much higher temperatures than that, and don't worry about my tree over there. I'm going to get that out of here soon, <laughs> and then this, <laughs> this little uh, shelf right here, I actually got it from Tractor Supply. It was one of their uh, roses, the um, thing that they, um, the the shelf that they keep the roses on. Well, once they sell all the roses off of it, they they just throw it away. So I I snagged a couple from them, and uh, they come in real handy for little shelves. But I got my neem oil back here, my clips, all of my six cells. They come in handy, like all my six cell stuff right in here my labels, and then I got my Horta Nova, I think it's called, um, trellis. I haven't used it yet. 
uh, still in the packaging, but Horta Nova trellis. Um, I'm going to try to do cucumbers on those next year. And then I got my two inch pots from Bootstrap. I'll link those below. Um, this is uh, the root pouches from Hoss. I will link those below. These are also from, from Bootstrap. I'll throw a link in for those. And then over here in this corner is all my fertilizers, okay? So I got my 0, zero 022. That's for my potatoes. Uh, that's pretty much all I use that for. Potatoes, maybe carrots, uh, sweet potatoes, but nothing else gets gets that. Um, this uh, mycorrhiza inoculant, I use that on in most areas. It doesn't take but a little bit, and I sprinkle it out uh, pre-plant. Uh, seems to do really, really well to uh, help inoculate the soil. And then down here, I have, so, so let me come up here first. So this is my blood meal. And then this one is alfalfa meal. And then this one is bone meal. And so this, this one over here is a mixture of bone meal and blood meal that I carry around with me. So that's pretty much how I do it. I, I mix them together and I put them in that bucket. And then I take that bucket to the garden areas to... And I use that as a pre-plant fertilizer. Um, and then this one right here, I think is my corn one. Yeah. So this right here is my Chilean nitrate. It's the, it's not, uh, what was I going to say? I use this right here for the corn. Yep. I use that one for corn. And then this also goes down pre-plant right here is gypsum soil conditioner. So I'll, I'll take that bag out with me with this bucket and then if I needed to all beds get this that's why I have that bucket right there but not all the beds get the alfalfa meal so I just I just mix that as needed and then over here so that's all my dry amendments over here I got my my liquid you know a you can't go wrong with the with the fish fertilizer um, that's what I started with using when I was just starting as gardener, you know, and um, hey, it still comes through, so I will use that. But I also recently got this Agri uh, Agri Thrive. Um, it's a three three two, and then this Agri Thrive fruit and flower is a three three five. So. Uh, different purposes for each one of them. This micro boost from from Hoss. It's a. Uh, I, I use this when when I notice that my plants are like deficient in something. So if they if they're turning yellow or they're stunted or something like that, I throw a little micro boost in there when I'm when I'm. When I'm fertilizing, and it seems to take care of the All bottom. right, also over here, I got all my bottom trays. Um, at some point, if like in the spring, I need this space for seed starting. So I would take my bottom trays and put them down there. But I don't want to have to go down there every time if I don't need to. So when I'm not growing anything over here, I put my bottom trays over here. Kind of the same setup. With the bench there and then the the lower level right there comes in really handy. And that is about it. Now, something that I'm going to change is if you look right here on this door. Um, right now, I have a hose that I have to bring in. You can see part of it right there. I have to bring that hose in. Um, and I don't like to have to do that. So... I'm going to put me a water point right here. So that way I have a water point for for inside the greenhouse. And um, I just think it'll be more efficient, you know, better. That's the pretty much the only um, change that I'm making to it this 
this uh, ball. And I definitely have to have a fan in here, keep the air circulating, make it nice and cool for the plants, and um, just keep that keep that intense heat off of them. Y'all almost let me forget about the daggone homestead hack. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. I was in here the other day, and some of these tops were were coming up on the edges, and just the uh, the uh, staples just weren't holding very well. You know, they they held pretty well most of the uh, year, but you know, getting the heat of the summer, I guess the wood maybe swelled or whatever, and they started coming up out of there, but. <clears throat> I was looking all over for my daggone washers because I was going to put a screw and washers down uh, through there, and I couldn't find them for nothing. So I got the next best thing. I took pennies and just drilled right on through them. Because, I mean, a washer going to cost more than a penny anyway. So that's my homestead hack for the day. If you need a washer, and you can't find none, and you you scratching your head looking for them, just get yourself some pennies and drill right on through them. Just make sure you use new pennies. Don't use them old pennies because they're hard to drill through. But that's the homestead hack of the day. All right, I'm glad, glad I didn't forget that hack. Um, but no, I mean, it just made sense, right? I mean, you're going to pay more than a, a penny for each. Um washer so might as well just take a penny as long as it fits and go ahead and drill right on through it um but yeah so anyway real real quick ending of the video uh greenhouses i want to say 13 by 10 this uh this frame here you can see it back there and around the door uh the frame was an old dog kennel and I bought it from a friend for like 50 bucks or something like that. And then um, the rest of the materials maybe cost $100. And so, I mean, you got a greenhouse, 13 by 10, you know, $100. And I'm talking $100 for everything, for the the um, benches and everything. So um, that's not too bad, especially, I mean, I used to have the the grow lights in the, in the room and all that stuff. And, uh. I tell you what, I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. Um, I had worked at different uh, farms and different market farms and whatnot that had greenhouses, and I said, "Nope, mm -mm. I gotta, I gotta get me a greenhouse." So it ain't nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. I mean, hey, it take a little sweat equity. It may only be hundred fifty dollars, but you know, you gotta put a little sweat into it. And if you know me, if you if you're familiar with my channel at all, I always talk about the three different types of uh, of equity. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video right here because it will tell you what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate you. I see you in the next video.